everybody. Happy 4th of July weekend and welcome to Between the Sheets podcast. We're on the first and third Friday of every month here on the United Broadcasting Network. Um, thank you for joining us. It's going to be a fun show. Um, I'll introduce the ladies and I'll introduce our guests, but the call lines are open. 323-524-2599. Um, we have a wonderful we have like two psychics on the show, which should be pretty freaking amazing. I mean, seriously, I am so excited. This is like the best thing before the 4th of July weekend. Um, so, and we're stuck home anyway, because we're screwed again, um, because nobody wears masks. So please wear your mask. I mean, it's just a little thing you need to do. It, make a fashion statement, just try it. It's okay. Um, you can find us, uh, find me on Instagram, QTE Brat. And of course, like our Facebook page on Facebook, Between the Sheets podcast. And tomorrow, um, this show will go live or not live, but it'll be up on YouTube. And then it'll be on all of the platforms. Jenny McNulty wearing this because I want to. Good girl. Good girl. Um, but I'd like to introduce everybody. I mean, you know, I, I just asked um, Kurt, who's our wonderful gentleman who is sitting in the studio helping us do our show, like when the studio's ready because they're renovating. So it's almost ready and maybe, just maybe, a few of us who choose to can go in the studio um, the next the next time, which is the third Friday. But I don't, I want to just keep this go show going. Again, the number is 323-524-2599. And I want to introduce Cara Noble. Hello, Cara. Hi there. I'm in lockdown Ooh. fever. I've had enough now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have Mara Shane stuck in her home, stuck at the beach in her home. Yeah. No, I'm really on the beach. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to get so like sighted. Also, everybody who's living in West Hollywood, truly wear your mask. They're going to start sighting you. I think it's a $400 fee. So, you know, just do, just do it. Just freaking do it. Um, then of course, our favorite comedian, um, you know, pandemic password and every day at 1 p.m., Jenny McNulty. Woohoo! Woohoo! Happy face smile. And we then have the whiteboard, y'all. I know you're going to be drawing. It's kind of like what's that thing called? A Pictionary? Are you going yeah. to? Yeah, there you go. Because we have discovered through Between the Sheets that Jenny McNulty is a fabulous artist Art savant. I, I cannot Aww. state it anymore. An artist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Laura's got the new mask. And I think that new mask actually is really cool. I think it's I think really because cute. not only can you see, but I think for someone who's deaf as well, I think <laughs> it facilitates, you know, on the jokey part, yeah. it facilitates, you know, them being able to see. And on the flip side, when people say they don't, Cheryl, I'll get to you. When they don't wear a mask, people don't know if they smile. Watch yeah. this. Okay, here's yeah. mask. Oh, okay, no yeah. mask. But, and then you smile, watch. People know you're smiling, so don't be ridiculous. Um, and then we have, after a long, long, <laughs> I have a lot of time on my hands to do stuff like this. It's a sleight of hand. Um, after a very long time, uh, she's been very busy all on Facebook and Instagram and all her stuff. Um, we missed you, Cheryl Murphy, but they welcome back. Hey, thank you. I have missed you guys too. It has been way too long and I'm so excited for tonight just to be here. So thank you so much for having me back. I love you well, guys. You know, it's all for one and one for all. So thank you guys. Um, and now without further ado, I'm going to read <laughs> because it's always so mechanical. Um, the bio for Wanda. Um, Dr. Don't Wanda. Don't you get to say I'm going to read the Bible. <laughs> Next show, okay? I mean, someone, I would like posted something on Facebook and I was like the universe or whatever. And then someone replies, God will always answer your prayers. <laughs> Unfriend. Um, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> so um, Dr. Wanda Benet has been doing psychic reading, spiritual counseling and life coaching for the past 36 years. Mm. She began her education at Grossmont College, continued at Cal State College in Hayward and San Diego State College. She graduated from University of San Diona, San, uh, Sedona in Arizona and completed her graduate degree. This is a quote. I love my work and feel great satisfaction in assisting people in manifesting their goals and creations and experiencing joy and happiness in their lives. She lives in Costa Mesa and works with people throughout the country by phone and Skype. She also is a life coach. Um, her birthday was not that long ago, so I think we should wish her a wonderful birthday. She is 85 years young. Amazing. Yay. Happy so birthday. Happy birthday, Wanda. Um, Thank you. And 
And um, let's start. Let's start it basically. As I told you, this is like a talk show, so we'll start free for all. Um, you know, and it goes in zigs and zags. We have the call lines open 323 524 2599. For those of you wanting a psychic reading, but remember, because it's short, you have one question, one question only, and then I need to move on. And if it goes way too long, I'm going to cut you off. So there we go. And happy 4th of July. Um, so, Wanda, how did you, when did you like, how did you start this? When did you um, realize you had a gift? Well, I was the oldest child in a family of four children. And when I was about eight, eight and a half or nine, I realized there's something different about me. I always thought that everybody saw what I saw and understood what I understood. However, I began to see that that wasn't the case. And I couldn't figure out what it was that was so different about me. I knew what people were thinking. I knew things that were going to happen, but when I tried, when I would communicate that, I would get disciplined mm -hmm. because uh, then children were supposed to be seen and not heard. Yeah. So I would, you know, um, make a pronouncement of the truth <laughs> and get punished. So um, I, I kind of just kept it inside of me then for so many years. And I um, finished school, got married, had children, worked. And as time went on, the psychic just started talking through me. I would sometimes say things to people that I, I didn't choose to say. And so I begun to do some, I guess, try to find out what was going on with me. And I was directed to another psychic. And she told me, she said, you're psychic. And when I opened up my, um, when I gave that the, the space to operate through me, then I started getting opportunities to do readings. And then I decided that I should, I was, I was going to school all the time I was raising my children and keeping house. And I had a very demanding husband and a part-time job. So I was a busy beaver. And um, <clears throat> so after um, the kids got older then, I, I finished school and time went on and I got a divorce and it just happened. I mean, the opportunities just fell in my lap. I was, I left my marriage with practically nothing and within a year, I bought a new car, a Mercedes Benz, and and, uh, and paid off everything that I owed, and was just going great. And it's it's been happening ever since. Um, I started having opportunities to do some uh, workshops and seminars for business people, primarily just to um, help with attitude and positivity. And then I did psychic readings for a lot of people and as time went on started finished my uh, graduate degrees and started doing life coaching so i've done a combination of all of those and i i teach one class a month now uh and it's a personal growth mm -hmm. from a spiritual point of view class mm -hmm. but um most of the years i was doing up until about the last five or six years i was doing regular seminars and workshops and so forth one of the highlights of my work now is the celebration of winter solstice. And I do a program and, and at the same time as we celebrate solstice, I do a goal setting workshop. So that's my story. Well, I mean, like when, like when you're doing life coaching, right? How much does like the psychic stuff like meld into a life coaching um, session? It, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't but it just makes me more aware of how to work with the client and help them or assist them, guide them into getting where they want to be. You okay. understand? I do. So yeah. my question is not about you. We're going to go to COVID because okay. we're in COVID. So <clears throat> right. what are your guides saying like about COVID and what's going on? 
Well, the guides, believe it or not, are saying that all is perfect in its own timing, that there is a reason for everything, and that there is uh, a, a lot of learning that's going on with a lot of people, including the masses, that people are beginning to face themselves. Some of them more than others, but they are uh, beginning to open up and see that there's more to life than what appeared to be before now. Of course, a lot of people have crossed over and the COVID actually has been an assisting uh, energy for some people to cross over who um, otherwise would have resisted. And um, it will disappear as fast as it appeared one of these days. We'll have more of it this year. And I feel like that there will be some something developed to make it go easier with people. It would be similar to a flu shot. Okay, flu right. infection. Yeah. But it's it's making us face ourselves and it's making us take responsibility and it's making us realize who we really are, and that is divine beings that are perfect, whole, and complete. And that the parts of us that we deem otherwise are, are things that we've taken on from other people through our own vulnerability or our own fear, whatever. And, and that we are being guided on a path that will lead us to see our divinity, our perfection, and that we are completely whole. And, and of course, the main thing is divine. And a lot of people don't even know how to work with the light. They don't, they don't know anything about that. That will come into being as time goes on. People will learn more about that. Like, like every day, every time I work, I, I bring the light in and clean my entire body, all the cells of my body, uh, my aura and everything. And I do that several times a day. If you don't know what we know, then you don't know how to use that. People are going to start seeking more truth. It may, it may be slow and it may seem unlike that now, but, but it will happen. Wow. And I'm sure that the guides are saying that Biden will be president, right? Uh, the guides, <laughs> this is this, this uh, the guides are saying that when we were released to earth, that we were released with each of us has the same amount of free will and choice, and that they will not intervene that free will and choice. Unless, of course, we're getting ready to blow up the planet or some such thing. Let's not put it out there right now. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah. I guess. But <laughs> however, it's they say it's a free will and choice thing, and that he will be uh, elected if he can initiate the change that is needed and 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 follow through at this time. However, there's going to be tremendous change in the whole pro uh, process of who's elected, who's not, and uh, whether or not there'll be an election when it was scheduled. That's been coming in lately. Oh, really? I, I don't know what that means, but uh, there's I that's been coming in to me. So just know that whatever, this is what we're having to get to, is that whatever happens, whether it's him or somebody else or Trump or who else, it's for the good of all. And there's a purpose in everything. And that our free will and choice will never be, uh, never be interrupted by the guides that that, that will, that stays as long as we live. However, there is a bigger picture and, and everything that needs to get done will get done and it will get done in its own time. So what the lesson here is, is faith. Have faith in the creator and what is going on and understand that there's purpose in learning. 
in all of it. Does that make any sense to Absolutely. you? Absolutely, makes sense to me. Yeah. Hey, everybody, our guest is Wanda, um, Wanda, uh, but, oh, shoot. Benet. I know, I had it phonetically spelled. <laughs> I was trying to read my own yeah. head is what the problem is. <laughs> um, hey guys, she will be doing a one question reading. Please call live 323-524-2599. That is 323-524-2599. So does anyone on our panel have any questions? I have you? a couple of questions, not less, not like a, a one for you to answer for me. That that would be later, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, letting yourself just go there and saying, hey, maybe I'm a psychic. That's actually how I came out of the closet. I'm like, what if I were really gay? And look, here I am. Uh, but I don't think the spirits would stop us from blowing ourselves up. Do you? I mean, if we were really hurtling down that path, don't you think they would kind of uh, let it be? They wouldn't stop us from blowing ourselves up. But I feel like the planet was created as a school. Yeah. It is, it is the, I, I guess I would say have the heaviest planet other than one or two others that has life on it. And so we are experiencing and learning in three-dimensional energy, spirit, mind, and body, mental, spiritual, and physical. Now, if you're on the other side without a body, you're an energy field. So all you got to do is think and whatever you think appears in energy form. But if, if I appeared to you in energy form and you tried to touch me, your head would go through me. So if you think about a place, you're there. It's, it's fast transport. Here, we have physical bodies and we live in a heavier environment. So if we want to go someplace, we have to get a car, a train, or an airplane, or whatever. And But what we think about, we can be there in our minds and spiritually. We just have to park our body in the chair or something, you know. So, so basically, we would not be allowed to blow up the earth because it's a school. If you want to blow yourself up, yeah, that's your that's your free willing choice. Go so for you, it. You feel then that the spirits would really intervene if we were hurtling down in a way that I don't know that we could really blow the planet up, but you know, I, I just don't it's do I don't mean to say that we're not important to them. I'm just saying as an essence, right? Is is our are our needs and wants and feelings and emotions in this realm that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things I kind of don't think so so to me it's yeah I believe it's this game that they're watching but I don't know how it much they're willing to throw in a flag yeah. and stop play yeah it all has to do with the lessons that we're learning your what you see and think and feel and all that is very different than what I do because we have right. different lessons okay and each but also there's another uh, element of that we are here and the way we serve the universe is we put its ideas from universal mind into action. We make its ideas work. Like if, if, if it has an idea to invent a special kind of car, that idea is transferred to the minds of several people. One or two of them will snatch it up and start to make it work. So therefore, um, the creator can see its ideas in physical action. That's one of the ways that we serve. The greatest way that we can serve each other and the universe is to be happy. Being happy is the most important thing that we can do here. Hey, we have a caller, everyone. Wanda, you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, Who's Good calling? evening. Good evening. Ladies, my favorite ladies, Gay, Jenny. This is Tonya, San Diego. <laughs> San Diego. Oh, do you have a question for me? All Mark? right. Yes, I did. Well, actually, um, I um, texted or, or commented too. So I was like, oh, it's my first time on the phone. <laughs> Um, I have a question. All right. Um, I just recently found um, my new sister just recently found me um, from Ancestry.com. We took a separate test 
And um, we found out 80, 83% she is my sister and her father is my father. So, but he um, has still like, not acknowledged me and stuff. My little sister, I just found her. She or she found me. It's going to get married. I just want to know, do you see anything happening with this? Because I feel like I'm 50 okay. years old. I don't really care who my father is. But, you know, is there anything positive you can share with me that might be coming? I don't know. I just don't okay. see anything. For some reason, you're too close to your phone because I can't understand you. You're coming well, across sorry. it. Can you tell me that again, please? Sorry, I turned off my uh, volume. I have you on Facebook and then on the phone. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Technology. All right. Um, I just want to find out, um, is there anything, can you see anything? Because um, I felt, um, not felt, but before I'd actually, my little sister had found me, um, a psychic person had came to me and said she had a message and that my grandmother was trying to find me. And it was actually um, my new father's mother that's uh -huh. passed away and I've never met her. So. I'm just trying to put the pieces together. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'm hearing is that you and your little sister found each other. Yes. And that Karina, never do, you, do you know where your father is? Olympia, Washington. And, and are you in communication with him? Do you get along with him? He is not accepted. Um, she sat down, my little sister sat down with him and showed him the, the results from the exams, from the DNA he test. Doesn't ex and he doesn't <clears throat> accept it. Yeah, pretty much, yes. <laughs> okay. What is, your, what is your father's name? Um, I, this is still kind of weird for me to say, but his name is Jack. <laughs> Jack. Uh, the reason why I'm asking that is I go in through the vibration of the name. Well, he's never going to accept it because he feels like that. That's just a bunch of hooey. He feels like that that could never really happen. And and so I think what you have to do is just let him go. And you and your little sister uh, spend time together, be happy together and grow together and, and get to know each other on a deeper level. And uh, I do get that that you guys are sisters, but I feel like he doesn't want to talk about that because that would mean that he would have to divulge parts of his life that he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to remember or he wants to forget. I mean, obviously we make bad decisions when we're young. You know what I mean? That's quite an adventure, so. <clears throat> yeah, so. But yes, thank you for confirming. That's kind of what yeah. I felt, so. I mean, yeah. that's my question is like, I, well, we're talking to her already, so right. and I'm grateful. And, and but, also, but it is surprising because I'm even getting it from my own mother. She's gotten silent. She doesn't remember either, or she doesn't want it to divulge. So it's kind of like, yeah. I'm a, still a dirty little secret. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, let me just tell you that if you decide you want to find out more about that, my telephone number is 858 229 0622. And I will be, uh, be happy to you know help in any way that I can. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Bless me. Hi. Have a great night. Bless you. Hi, thank, Tanya. you. thank you. We have another caller. Great. Bye, ladies. Bye, Tanya. Bye, Tanya. Okay. Hello, Kurt, they're on? Yep, they're on. Hello, hello. Welcome to Between the Sheets. You're on with Wanda. Benet, do you have a question? Hello? Yes. Are they gone? No, they're still here. They're in the room. 858, you're on the air. Hello? 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 I can't hear them. Yeah, they're not responding. I'm going to drop them. Okay, drop okay. them. So, I mean, it seems to me, like, as a psychic, and I'm sure Cheryl can agree with this, I mean, you know, obviously people want to hear about, you know, unicorns, rainbows, butterflies. But I'm sure with both of you guys, I, do people mostly come to you like more if they're in despair or want answers? They, they come with uh, need to have answers on at many different areas, business, relationships, what's going on with them, um, the past, the future, um, pretty much a broad spectrum of what's going on in their lives. I mean, what's the coolest thing, Wanda, like that you even surprised yourself 
when you maybe predicted something or or something that was so amazing that the guy sent you that changed someone's life dramatically? Well, I think uh, something that comes to my mind is that um, a long time ago, I kept seeing this huge explosion um, back east. And um, there were some other people that saw it too. And they, they were also psychics. And um, I said, it's going to make changes in our country and in the world and it will be uh it will not be a happy thing and so when 911 happened um a lot of those people got in touch with me and said here's what here's what you were predicting another thing that i can share is that um this sweet young girl whose whose husband was in the service and she was uh, horrified that he might not get home and I told her that he would he would get home and everything would be fine and she kind of had faith that she kind of depended on what I read and as time went on he came home and everything was good oh that's so sweet that's so <laughs> yeah. special when you can do yeah. that for somebody yeah, yeah. again uh, another time somebody wanted to know if they were ever going to have a baby and I said, yes, you will just give it time and, you know, it'll happen. And it did. And so um, all kinds of neat things like that. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, we have yeah. another caller and then we can get back to this. Okay. Ready, Kurt? All right, they're on. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Between the Sheets and you're on with Wanda Benet. Do you have a question? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi, this is Rachel. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Good to see you. Good to hear your voice. Hi. Yeah. Thank you for having my psychic on. I don't have any questions. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad to be. Hello. My psychic I is pay, on. I paid for my session. <laughs> no, that's how I. But I just wanted to say, I just, I'm glad you were able to share her with everyone. <laughs> well, I mean, you shared her with me. And when someone shares and someone's an amazing person and a beautiful spirit of light, <laughs> Um, and tells me what I always wanted to hear, then she's a good psychic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you that sometimes. Awesome. I, I, that's awesome. Well, all right, I'll let you go so you guys can continue. Sometimes I tell people what they don't want to hear, but it happens anyway. Can well, you that say, happens. Thanks, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Rachel. Okay, you're welcome. Rachel, before you hang up, what was the thing that made you go, wow, wow, that's super awesome? What did she predict, if you can tell us? I, I'm sorry, what was the question? What did she predict for you that when you first like started working with Wanda, what did she do that made you go, wow, Wanda's awesome? If you can tell us, if it's not like a dirty secret. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I, I will tell you something. Uh, I've been working with her for 30 years, and back in the early 90s, I bid on two properties, and it was an auction style, and there were 30 different bids, and I, was, I put two bids in of the 30, and then the realtor came back and said that I was the only one who won, who won the bid. And he says, oh, by the way, you won both of them. Because <laughs> I put in two different bids and it, I got direct information from Wanda. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Well, there you go. Yeah, it, it blew my mind. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I'll, I'm going to let me let you go so you can get more calls. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. You're Bye, welcome. Rachel. You're so welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I, want, I want to ask Wanda, do you, can you just look at someone and think, I need to tell them this thing? Does that happen sometimes? That does happen. And the first time it happened, it was very scary, but I'm not scared of it anymore. But for instance, one time I was at the car wash and <clears throat> there was this young man who was working there and he just seemed so burdened and so unhappy. And all of a sudden, I found myself walking up to him and saying, you know what, you don't belong here. You're too good for this. Go get yourself a job that you enjoy. And whatever's going on with you, it'll be all right. Aww. Aww. And, and it was like, he just said, like this, you know, and he said, thank you. Aww. And the next, I, I had my car wash there, you know, every week or two, and I never saw him there again. <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess he, you know. And 
Maybe we should get a residency in the car wash. I, I'm sure they have Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's happened a few, you know, it, it, it doesn't bother me now, but it was scary the first time it happened. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. So yeah. ladies, um, since we don't, oh wait, wait, do we have another caller? We do, yes. Let's do it, let's do it. <clears throat> You're Hi, everybody, or whoever. Welcome to Between the Shows. Hello, who's calling? Hi, this is Holly Hansen. I also go, Holly's my name, and my real name is Mary. And I have a question about my daughter. What is your daughter's name? Kirsten, K-I-R-S-T-E-N. And what's her last name? Zyman, Z is Zebra. I am a N. Well, she's rather she's rather self-directed, and you kind of think she's a little hard-headed. Does that resonate? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you yeah. <laughs> you wish that she would, uh, you know, straighten up and fly right and do what you want her to do. <laughs> when is her birthday? March 2nd, 1990. Ah. You know what? She's just a very strong, like I said, very self-directed girl, woman, and she, she's going to be fine. She just is not a good listener to other people, but she will, you know, if she needs to learn something and she doesn't listen, then she'll eventually get the message that she should have listened. So I don't think you need to worry about her. Um, is that is that what you need to know? What else do you need to know? One one more thing. Well, I'd like to know, I'd like to know how I can improve communication with her. She lives in New Hampshire because she's in school at Dartmouth right now, and so uh -huh. we talk on phone. But um, she perceives things so differently than I do, and she'll talk about past things that happened, and what she remembers and what I remember whenever we had a discrepancy, we remember it so differently. And I just wish I could be more on the same page with her. And you know what? I'm wondering. You, you are just so different. You're two different people. She sees things differently and always will. And you see things differently and you always will. Just make peace with that and just listen okay. to each other because there is learning in listening. Okay. You guys teach each other in different ways, but just accept that you're exactly. different and you're not going to see things as the same. Does that help? That helps. And then I have another question. Will I ever be a grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Will you be a grandmother? Yes, you will. Do you, have, will? Other Do you have other children? Oh, my only child. Uh, it's going to be a while, but yes, you will. How old is she? She's 30. Yeah. She's busy getting her PhD. She won't be finished yeah. for another two years. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be a while. It may be as much as five years, but that's okay. You'll, ha you'll have a grandchild that's or two. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Mary! Congratulations, <laughs> yes. Can I ask, one, may I ask one more question? Okay, because you're a friend of mine, okay. Okay, will she, will she ever live in California with me or will we ever live near each other? I don't think so. I don't get that. I mean, that's a free will and choice thing that could change, but I don't see it. Well, you don't? Huh? Because, okay. because, because everything that she, um, yeah, it just seems like that everything that she's setting up is in a different direction. I don't know. I don't, I don't see that. Yeah. You know, it's a free will and choice thing, so she could change it, but um, I don't think so. Okay, and then what was your phone number in case I'd like to call you? It's, I didn't get it. Okay, it's 858-229-0622. Uh -huh. okay. 0622-0622. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. You're so Thanks, welcome. Thanks, Mary, for calling in and, fall and, and like watching us. Love you. And thank you for such a wonderful show. I'm really enjoying it tonight. Aww, thank okay. you. Sweet. Sweet.
Yeah. All right. Thank so you. thank you. So Wanda. Bye bye. Yes. Hi, honey. Can I? I'm going to put. Would you answer questions from each of my ladies as well? Yes, of course. I'll All answer right. any. Who's first? Who's the, who's the first one on the block? Mara. Yeah. So, hi, Wanda. Do you want hi. me to? Hi. Do you want me to? I don't want to say the question out loud because I. I mean, do you need your person to say the question out loud to you, or do you just want oh. me to say it <clears throat> in my thoughts? What does it, re just give me one word that it relates to. I guess love, but that's such love. a broad word. Yeah, okay, so let me just look at your energy. <clears throat> I'm thinking of the question, right? Okay. I, I feel like that you are, um, I feel like that that there's a there's a sort of an upset in you about um, someone that you care about, and it just doesn't seem to work out. Uh, it's like you feel sometimes you feel like that it's going to be there, and sometimes you feel like it, it's not. And I feel like that um, does that does that make sense to you? Well, yes, it does. Um, yes, I and and I feel like that you need to see this relationship as a learning relationship. Okay. And see it. And here's the thing: this is a person that you've been with before. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yes. In a in a past life. Oh, in and, a past life. Yes. Okay. And okay. so you're you're back to resolve the issues of that past life. And you, when we, when a baby is born, about one or two days old, it sinks all of the past life information into the cells of its body. And so anytime that it connects with a past life person or anything that relates to that past life energy, the energy dips into that and it goes into emotional zigzag, okay? okay. so. So what it is, is in the past life, there was failure to make any commitment. And so that was what caused the unhappiness in the past life. Does that a make failure, sense? A failure on whose part to make a commitment? On his part, her part, or is it a, a man or a woman? You don't wanna know, you don't wanna say. The other person's part. In the past life, that person was a man. I don't know if it's that today. But it doesn't make, it's, we're not communicating and we haven't for years, so I don't know. Right, so, so what you have to do. <clears throat> so what you have to do is take the initiative to come, to get in touch with that person and, and complete and resolve. That person, was uh, had a habit of running away from everything just short of commitment does that make any sense yeah but they committed to everybody else but me right because you're the person that they need to commit to and and that person knows somewhere in its soul memory that it's going to have to give in and admit a lot of stuff does that I make see. But I, it does, but I don't feel that I am um, going to ever pursue that person. I feel like, you know, that saying, if you let something go and if it doesn't come back, it's not, it was never your story. Right. So but I, I feel I kinda like. Don't, I kind of don't get that you've let it go. I, I mean. You're still you talking know, about it. Well, that's true, but I'm not <laughs> making, I'm not taking any actions to okay. pursue her. I'm not, I'm not trying to get in contact. I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of like, well, if she feels like I'm worth it one day, I'll hear from her, but it's already okay. been a long okay. time. Okay, okay, so, so you're, if your part in the situation is to resolve your part of it, that person would not commit to you in the past life. In the past life, that person was a man and he, he ran off and he left you and took your pride, took your heart, hurt you deeply. And in the past life, you died still in pain and heartache because of that person. Now in this life, if you 
I will say to you, I doubt that that person makes contact. Okay. No, never. Huh? Her. Okay. Whatever. But no, I don't hear from that person. It's been right. So, years. so basically then the best thing you can do, really the only thing you can do is resolve it with yourself. Yeah. Forgive let go yeah. and every time you think of this person send love and blessings to this person does that make sense yes thank you i really appreciate that well i you know sometimes the i i read energy in layers and sometimes i have to go another layer down to find the next level of it of the energy so much <laughs> Hey, everybody, yeah. you're here listening to Between the Sheets podcast, the first and third Friday of every night, bleh, first and third Friday of every month. Um, I'm your host, Gay I'm Bruno. These are my beautiful co-hosts. We have our wonderful guest, psychic life coach, coach. God, my speech is ridiculous tonight. <laughs> One of an A. Um, and please call in. One question per person, 323-524-524. 2599. The other day when I was saying this, I almost gave everybody my cell phone number. Oh. That would have been a problem. Um, so Cara, Cheryl, Jenny, anybody. Cara, go ahead. Cara, go ahead. So um, as you know, Wanda, as I said earlier, I am in lockdown craze here. I need to get out of town. I can't, I can't fly because my passport's run out. But where am I going next? Anywhere. Where am I going? Somewhere, please. <laughs> You mean, where are you going? You mean to another country? To no, because I can't leave the country. But am I going on a trip? Is there a trip coming up? Is there somewhere I, I could be heading? Okay. Not, not, uh, not near, <laughs> not real soon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Look, the best thing you can do for yourself now is find a park where there are not a lot of people and go there and walk a lot and go there and spend time in nature with yourself. I do that every day. Well, okay, so that That's so you're doing much. everything you can do. Yeah. yeah, I do feel like that you're gonna be here for the next six months. <gasps> yeah, I do. I feel like it's gonna, I don't think you're gonna be able to get out or do anything or go anywhere for the next six months. And the reason for that is that, when is your birthday, by the way? July 13th, coming up. Oh, okay. nah. you're a cancer. Um, you, you're you very uh, socially oriented. You like being with people. You're, you're quite bored a lot, you know, by just being by yourself. Mm -hmm. But what you, the guy, your guides are saying that you need to learn that self is all there is and that being with self is the most blessed and happy, perfect thing that anyone can do. And in order to do that, you have to claim your divinity. Mm, okay. Does that make any sense to you? Become a goddess, huh? Yeah, pretty much, Cara. We have to go back to being a goddess. Um, <laughs> but what you need to do is know that you're divine. You were created by the divine with and in its own energy. And your spirit is one with the spirit of the divine living in you. And a lot of us have had, we don't think about that, but we are now in the process and at the doorway of opening to ascendance. And we don't have to die to ascend, by the way. But in order to ascend, we must accept that we are divine and that we are one with all that is. And in that process, then we will be in harmony with self and all. And so that's where you are. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, <laughs> I like the idea and I am going doing a lot of internal self work, but can I do it yeah. in Vegas for fuck's sake? <laughs> I have to stay here. Yes, Cara. Yes, you do. <laughs> what? What? What was her question? I'm sorry. Does she I have to stay here? Yes, for the time being, you do. <laughs> you see, what your guides are saying is that you must be in harmony with where you are in order to then move on. So get your shit together, Cara Noble. Harmony, <laughs> <laughs> Cara. Hey, everybody. Um, we have a caller. Okay. 
Okay, ready, Kurt? All right, they're on. Hello, Hello. Kurt. welcome to Between the Sheets. What's your name and what question do you have for Wanda? Hello? Hi, this is Monica. Hi, Monica, ¿cómo estás? Hi. How are you? Muy bien, I have a question for her. Okay. So my mom passed six years ago and um, her anniversary was June 30th. And in the past three weeks, I have been having dreams with her and seeing her in my dreams all the time. And I was wondering, what do you think she's trying to communicate to me? Because I haven't had that before. Well, first of all, she is with you, but she just chooses to come through uh, your dreams so that you'll be okay and not be scared of it, okay? And she's trying to tell you that all is well with her, that she is with loved ones who have passed over and that uh, there's nothing for you to worry about, that everything is okay with her and with you. She says, "What? tell me your mother's name. Monica. And what's her last name? Clemente. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get her. But in okay. my dreams she comes in distress. She says, My dear heart, my dear loving one, I am coming to you to let you know that I am good and that you are good. The distress that you are uh, feeling in your dreams about me is the distress you have about you, about certain things in your life. And what I'm here to tell you is that all is well, there is nothing to distress about. Be happy, be relaxed, and know that you are being guided and cared for by the creator that made you and that made all that is. She says, don't despair and don't distress for all is well, and I love you. That's what she says. Well, I believe it because she's been sending me her symbol was hummingbirds. And she's yes. been sending me hummingbirds for the last 10 days. Yes. Oh, my. And she says, yeah. that, uh, she says that you are so loved. And she wants you to understand and accept that. And my phone oh, that's... number, Monica, my phone number is 858-229-229. Zero six two two, and if you need to talk okay. more, if you would give me a call, I will. Can you please, um, Gayan? Can you put her number in the text so that I can write it down? Because I definitely want to do that. You're sure. right on. Hey, Kurt, can you put it up somewhere by Wanda's name on the 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 thingy? Sure. Yeah. What was like, that number again? Eight five eight two two nine zero six two two. Thank you, Wanda. You're, You're right welcome. on because I was distressing for 10 days and then she sent me hummingbirds. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank, thank you, you very Gayan. much and thank you, Gayan, for Between the Sheets. Thank you, ladies. I, thank you, I feel better. Thank you for Ciao. listening, sweetheart. Gracias. Of course, de nada. Love to all of you. Okay, bye. bye. All right, now I have bye. to. I'm going to put Cheryl on the spot. Psychic to psychic. Cheryl, do you have something to ask Wanda? Well, I have a, I have a couple of questions. One's for me personally, but my first question, Wanda, is um, when people, you know, do you help people also uh, remind them how what they can do to tap into their own inner guidance system? Or like, do you recommend meditating? Or with Kara, you were recommending like going in the park? Um, can you say something more about that? Like, how do you help people well, kind of tune in or calm down or be more see, mindful? See, the reason why our psychic and our intuition is not open and active is because we have uh, put too much negative or too much protection, too many walls. We've reacted to situations that scared us or are threatened us in some way. And in order to open that up, the best way to do that is to 
acknowledge those situations, acknowledge that energy, because when you acknowledge energy, it moves. See, when I do a reading, what I do is I acknowledge energy. And in the doing of that, I move it. And the more I talk about it, the more that energy moves out of you and you feel better. Do you, do you see that? I love it. Yes, I do. So that's what, that's what I do. I move energy. The other thing, you can move energy with yourself. If I have a pain in my body, I know that that is nothing more than a, a, too much energy that's gathered in that place. So I start to move that energy. Sometimes I do it with my mind. Sometimes I just do it like this, okay? But I don't, for somebody my age, I have very little pain because when I get one, I just move the energy. And when I, go, when I move that energy, then I get, I tap into it and get what it's about. And usually it's about me feeling like I've got to hurry up and do something or hurry up and get something done. That's one of my things that I, you know, does that make sense to you? I love, I love that. I love how you move energy. I love that. That's, it's very activating when you say it, you right. know, I feel that. Right. And see, what was the other question that so I, I do? Yeah. I, well, I do that a lot because see everything that goes on with you is really about you and you're all there is like I'm all there is for me. You're all there is for you. And so if I take somebody else's energy in to my energy field, guess what? That, that puts me out of balance right away. May not be very much, but eventually it can be a lot. So moving that energy, acknowledging it and getting it out of me clears my energy field. I love it. I love it. Well, thank that you. that sense to all of you? Yes, yeah. yes it does. Yeah. So, then, yeah. I have, if there's no callers, I have like, I don't want to use Go my ahead. question question hold on, yet. Jenny, hold on one more. Whether it's better caller. Hold on, Jen. Yep. Good. Um, Good. All right. Caller, caller. Hello. Welcome to Between the Sheets. You're on with Wanda Bennett. What? Hi. Um, ah. This is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. I have, how are you? How are you? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Kelly. I have I have a question about um just my career. I just uh feel like um lately um I'm wondering if I'm like on the right path exactly. I mean I know I'm on the right path, but am I going in the right direction in that path? I don't know if okay. that makes sense. Okay, Kelly, what is your last name? Eckhart. Eckhart, Kelly. Okay. And I don't see what you do, but if you tell me I can go in through that through that gate and get information for you what is it that you do uh, i just like life coaching oh you're a life coach okay um and the question is now are you going in the right direction um yeah i just feel like i'm not sure if i'm like honing in on the right areas in my career i'm wondering what what is oh, it that you more. What, did, what did you do professionally before you started life coaching? Uh, I was an HR manager for almost 30 years. Okay. Your your real uh, direction that you need to go in is business. Mm. You would be you'll be great in any kind of business issues, business problems. Um, what you could do is contact businesses and, uh, and present yourself as a coach for people in the business that are having difficulties, uh, performance problems, uh, different kinds of issues around business. Because the guys were telling me to ask you what your business was, and that's your area of expertise in your life coaching. Does that make any sense to okay. you? Okay. Yeah, and what yeah, can, I do do a little bit of business coaching. So yeah, that and and you can contact businesses everywhere. And right now, when things get back into uh, the normal flow of business, there's going to be a lot of need for coaching, such as you do. Okay, so, great. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. And all right. Uh, let me give you my number if you want to contact me again. It's eight five eight two two nine. 
Okay, and by the, thank you. Yeah, and by the way, you are extremely good in that area. So you'll be very successful. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank All you. Right. That you. sounds good. Thanks for calling in, Kelly. All right. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. And now we're going to punt to Jenny McNulty. Oh, okay. This isn't my, not my question question. I'm saving that. This okay. is just like technical questions. And before I even start, I am the total Fox Mulder here. I want to believe. I am not at all mocking. I am not. I just have a little bit of a science geek part of my brain that I like, you know, like reasons. Um, I want to go with it. I, I want to believe, right? So I want to know when you talk about like um, how you're, when, when, so these people are calling in and they're giving you your questions. And the one thing you said was that is a free will and choice thing. So that can change. What are the things that aren't changeable? Like what are, and, and again, I'm not, I'm, okay. I'm not doubting yeah, you. I, I just, I, I'm I trying to understand yeah. how I know you exactly. You I know exactly what you mean. Okay. Some, we mo most often, most all of us will, will set up uh, milestones for learning in life. In other words, here's, a, here's an, uh, an example. I set up a milestone to be with a certain person and that person is going to teach me things that I need to learn, lessons. And it doesn't matter what happens, I will meet that person and do that, what I call milestone in life. I made my decision before I came here. Of course, it still is my decision, but I will do that no matter what. Now, the other things that come up in life, it's, it's all about what I decide. My free will and choice is how I choose to exert my decision making. In other words, what I do is I look at all the aspects of what needs to get done to make the decision, what it's about, what everything. And then I, I run yes through my body and if my body gives me a big no, I know I don't make that choice. However, if the body says, I start to feel all this joy and then I go for it. But you see, the free will and choice belongs to you. And it's about you choosing which decision to make. Now here's another aspect of that. If you choose the decision that doesn't work, You've all, there's always turnaround time. You see that it's not working and you go the other way. But the guides have made a, if they make a pact with you and with the universe, not to step in and keep you from making that decision. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now the things, the, the things that you absolutely set up to do prior to you coming here You'll do them whether you like it or not, okay? I've done a few of those, but you will do that. The rest of it is about decision-making. You see, does that make any sense? Yeah, uh -huh. What you do you, go, sorry. Well, I'm just gonna say, if you don't understand it, ask me again, because we all have our, our sort of way of talking, you know? <laughs> no, no, that makes sense. Cause it's just like, in terms of, um, I was trying to look, see how you were evaluating what was being asked of you. Right. What about with your intimates, like with your children? I mean, that would suck if your mom was a psychic. Oh no, mom, I'm doing my homework. And you're in the back of the room smoking pot, right? right. So can you see <laughs> your kids? Can you like I can know see. when they're, they're, you know, and, and is it for people that are really close to you? Do they have some sort of a block? Oh, or do you put well, that block? Okay. Up? My daughter is a Southern Baptist, okay? She doesn't believe in what I do and she doesn't have anything to do with it. And I bless her over there where she is, okay? My son is like me. He has, his psychic is very open. He channels business plans and stuff like that. But he knows exactly where everything is. And he's, he's very light, he's very positive, he's very up. And um, he can do anything he sets his mind to. He's amazing. So I have, I see what he's doing. I never give him advice. He talks to me. I may ask him questions to make him think, but I never, ever give him advice because I know that if he makes uh, a decision that doesn't work, it'll, there'll be a quick turnaround time. 
I have three grandchildren and uh, a four-year-old great-grandson. My three grandchildren, uh, they say to me, Grandma, you can't die. We still need you here. <laughs> okay. And by the way, let me add everyone out there. Wanda is 85 years old. I mean, oh don't we all want to like, look at her? Oh my God, I'm so yeah, yeah. No, But you see, it's all about up here. And it's about taking care of your body, eating the right foods, and, and knowing that what you're doing is for the good of all. And let me say, I haven't always been in that place. But I think that it's about making a decision to love yourself and to... And, and let me say that I'm not always there every day, but I'm there pretty much, I would say 95% of the time. But loving other people as much as you love yourself, no matter what they're going through. And I did, I had to do a lot of work on judgment. Mm -hmm. And judgment, you know, letting go of judgment will set you free on many levels. So Wanda, I have a question for you. Okay. A very broad <coughs> question. What's intuition? Intuition is the mind operating through the body. The body never lies. The body is the instrument that we, it's the house, the instrument that we live in while we're here. It is wired with electronic, uh, electronic connections throughout. And so intuition is just the mind operating through those electrical conduits, if I guess is the best way to say it. Because your intuition always tells you through your body and your feelings. Your body never lies to you. Mm. Your body is the, is the thing that is the confirmation instrument about whether or not you are doing what you need to do. Before I buy something, I always ask myself, is this do I need to do this? And I do this. And this is a yes. This is a no. If I, I get a no. You can't see your hands. Can you? Yeah. Put okay. Your... I ask myself, should I do this? This is a yes. And this is a no. And, but at the same time, I check it out by running it through my body. If my body trips up a lot of discomfort, then I know it's a no. Hmm. So there's two ways to check out what you're what you're doing. So Wanda, make... I have a question. Also, uh -huh. um, I've read there's a lot of people out there that said that you can heal, like if you're ill, you can heal your body, you can <laughs> heal yourself. I'm not right. talking about the mental stuff. I'm talking right. about the physicality. <laughs> I mean, how? I mean, a is how does that work? I mean, I mean, like how would that work through the body and the mind and the spirit and the guides? Right. Okay. So when the body gets sick, it's, it can be that you have put a lot of bad stuff in it, eating bad stuff. Uh, it can be that you have kept hanging on to some emotional issue and it gathers a lot of energy in your body. Like the gallbladder is, is resentment. The pancreas is, um, irritation. The, uh, the bladder, the urinary bladder is where you hold on to past life and old early stuff. The lungs are grief. What else is there? Uh, I can't remember. The bones connected to that, sorry. Yeah, the stomach, <laughs> the stomach is where you keep hold on to mother stuff. The- uh, oh, No wonder I have an ulcer. Go ahead. Really? <laughs> the <laughs> the in, intestinal tract is where you hold on to father stuff, okay? So it's like when you hold on to issues, it gathers energy in those, in those organs and in different parts of your body. And um, so it's like holding on to nothing. And I have a Scorpio ascendant, so that's a real challenge for me because Scorpio is fixed water. And so I, I, I work on that all the time, but basically it's about eating good food, getting a lot of exercise, I give a lot as much as I can and um, and also just loving yourself and other people. I mean, where is your back? What is your back? Uh, I just, that's the question. Uh -huh. What is what my is, back? 
what what is the back hold like where is what's oh trained? burdens burdens okay. yeah burdens yeah thank you you're young for burdens yeah. Mara what you're too young for burdens <laughs> no. yeah and the other thing is too is that I noticed in about the last five years that my body will not let me push it as far as it used to I mean I didn't slow down until about five years ago and now I'm I'm slower than I used to be. Up here, I'm about 45. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what else can I say? You look that's about my 65. Experience. I'm just letting you know right now, yeah. if it's that. Oh, thank you. You made my day. Yeah. Are you are you a vegetarian? Um, not exclusively. I eat a little bit of chicken. I eat fish, um, but the rest of it is pretty much vegetable protein. Mm -hmm. And I love soup, so I have a lot of soup. Uh, just, yeah, pretty much. So Wanda, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, we're all, we all have, is, do we, I shouldn't say I know this, do we, and I'll offer it to you and Cheryl. Yeah. Does, is everyone a little bit psychic? Yes. Yes, we all have that, but it's, if we have, if we carry a lot of unresolved issues that blocks it. And so how you, do we tap into that, Wanda? How do we, because uh, I read tarot cards. Sometimes I'm like, I have, I want to do it. And then when I do it, apparently I'm right on. And then yeah. there's times where I'm like, I don't want to do this because I'm not feeling it. But right. not only me, but if we all have that, how do we tap into this? Well, it's okay. The psychic is the next level of mind above your conscious mind. And uh, it is connected with what I call divine mind or universal mind. And so I was born with that open because I obviously had done a lot of work, but I also came in with a lot of work to do. My astrology shows that I have, that I came in to, to finish and resolve three different lifetimes. So I've had a lot of work to do and I'm going sure, through a lot. Of, yeah, but, uh, but basically, um, God asked me the question again. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you yeah. don't know me. I've got ADHD. You... It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> How do we tap into Oh, it? okay. So, well, let me see. You do it by choice. You can do it by choice by just what you do is you go in, you just say, I, I now, uh, go in or tap into my psychic level and ask a question. But if you've got a lot of stored stuff, that's going to do a lot of blocking of the psychic level. Do you understand? I do. So how do we and open you, that up? Well, by, by, by getting rid of all the stored stuff that you've got. Number one, it seems like that your intuition is what directs your tarot reading. You've got a very strong intuition. And I think your psychic is beginning to open. You just don't yet access it very often. Maybe you should just, uh, you know, a few times a day say, what does my psychic level have to say to me? And let it speak to you. Why, thank you, Wanda. <laughs> I, love, I love what Wanda said, because it's like bringing it into your everyday life. Yeah. You know, it's having a conversation with your higher self. Yeah, your, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I had, a, I had a difficult time uh, over some years of my life while I was growing up in my family of origin because, of course, I was always spouting on truth, <laughs> spouting off truth and realizations and all this stuff, and they don't want to hear that. So I had to shut that down, and it took me some uh, time to reopen that because I had built a lot of protection around that, you know, because I got beat up about telling some truths, you know. So anyway, but it's all there in all of us. Thank you. Hey, everybody, you're listening to Between the Sheets, or I should say watching. I'm Gay I'm Bruno Host, our wonderful guest, Psychic Wanda Benet. Um, please call in 323-524-2599. Anyone else have anything to say to Wanda? You guys are awfully quiet tonight. <laughs> Honey, you should ask your question. Who, me? Yeah, you're going to run out of time. 
Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, uh, well, it's, I didn't have it ready yet. Thanks, Mara. Throwing right under the bus. Hello, bottom of bus. Thanks, Mara. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, well, all right. So I'm working on some projects right now. Um, uh, what direction, the, what, the, what areas do I need to focus on for me to make those projects take off? Okay, I don't know what you do. Uh, I am a stand-up comedian. A stand-up comedian, okay. And I'm hosting a show, I'm hosting a talk show. And you want to know what areas you need to... What areas do I need to make stronger in me to make... I'm trying to take this talk show oh, to the next level okay. to make people... You know, I'll tell, I, I've been getting it ever since I, I saw you here. You need to have more fun. <laughs> you need to get funnier, okay? Because you have... There's a lot of fun in you, but it's locked away. I think in your, I think in your early childhood, you weren't allowed to express that does that make any sense it wasn't that i wasn't allowed i, I just kind of didn't well you need to because that's <laughs> that's the first thing i get and when you laugh it's like a whole the glow comes out of you but for some reason you keep that locked away i feel like in some maybe it was in school or something that you got in trouble for laughing and you, you got embarrassed and you made a big, it was a big thing for you. I feel like it was elementary school, maybe eight, nine, ten, somewhere along there. Hmm. I don't know if you remember it, but, but basically what I'm hearing from the guys is you need to have more fun. You need to create more fun and you need to get funnier. Does that <laughs> <Okay>. help? That's <laughs> impossible, Jenny Pignolti. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. I agreed. Okay, so I have a question. Um, okay. career wise for me, um, I've had a job for that. I love and still do for 31 years. So what is my future? Not necessarily with the job. What does my future hold for career? Um, have you, have you progressed as far as you can in that job? Are yeah. there promotion? Okay. I, I don't see you leaving that, that work because you're, you're good at it, you love it. I think there's a thing going on is that you feel like you need a promotion or more money or something. Does that make Don't sense? Don't we all? <laughs> well, I know, but I'm talking about you now. I'm not- No, joking. I know, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, so I feel like that you're very, very attached to the people and the place that you work at make sense yes yeah it's like it's almost like they're family to you mm. and i feel like you will get your raises you'll get your promotions but to be honest i don't see you going anywhere so what about this show will this show take off and go this forward? show this show will take off yes and every time you do it it will it will attract more people one of the uh, we haven't had a lot of callers this evening i would assume we have another and, one waiting but go ahead and part of it that is just it's the holiday yeah yeah there's so many places to go right now <laughs> yeah okay. um, well i know but i mean a lot of people are no. making backyard plans and stuff that's like that true. that's we true we have another caller <clears throat> okay hello welcome to between the sheets Hi, this is Monica again. You were so good with my first question that I asked if I could call twice and they said yes. Okay. So I'm going to ask you something that is a little bit different than what I asked you before, but I think it's in the same line. Okay. Monica, turn the volume or something down with feedback, please. Can you hear me now? Yes, that's better. Okay. So... I like to do many random acts of kindness. So, for example, you know, every Christmas I give money to people that are waiting to get work at Home Depot because I know if they're there by the 24th and they're Latinos, that means they don't have any work, and I go and I give money. Uh-huh. That's nice. And I have adopted people that graduated during COVID and gave them, you know, iPads and right. whatever, and that that feels like it's my spirit right. but my sisters feel like i shouldn't do that and i'm like what am i doing wrong 
Should I go with what I feel like my spirit tells me to do and to give? Or should I listen to them? And is there a reason why they would object to me doing those kinds of things? Like, for me, the more I give, I plant a seed, and something hopeful can happen. Because it happened to my life when I was illegally in this country, and I didn't have anything. Okay, so why that, would they oppose? Okay. They envy you. Ah. So you should keep on doing exactly <laughs> what you're doing because you're a very happy person and you your heart gets your heart gets joy every time you give. I know I, I do that too. I have I don't do all the stuff you do, but I every time I give my heart feels so good. So keep on doing Yeah, I feel doing. so great. Yeah. And just know that your sisters are envious of you, but you just have to love them anyway and not pay any attention to them. <laughs> but I don't think that they would ever be envious. I think they want to protect me, but what, what would they be well, protecting okay. me from? Oh, okay. They, they want to protect you, but it's not really protection. It's, it is what I said it was. It's envy. It's like, why can't we why can't we be like or like that or why doesn't she give that to us because she's why is she giving it out to other people they're not family mm. but i sense? give to them a thousand times more than i give to other people so I that's know. where the I know, conflict honey. is yeah they want so more, monica jesus <laughs> what <laughs> they want more <laughs> yeah oh yeah. shit man yeah. So, Mon so Monica, your lesson is to do what you need to do, what you want to do, what makes you happy. And if they have a problem with it, it is not your problem. See, one of the greatest things that we can all learn is that what comes out of somebody else's mouth is never about us. It's about them. Thank you, Monica. Mm. Can you see that, Monica? I can see that, Wanda. Thank you so much. You're so Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question, if I may ask Wanda, sure. about me. Wanda. I've been considering uh, looking at houses to buy. Uh -huh. So, you know, just because of the rates are great right now. And I was just wondering if you saw me moving or, you know, uh, if you saw the possibility of another home or, you know, if now is not a good time or just whatever you could see around that. Um, an idea that we're playing with. Now is a good time. And there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. That's great. So, so you just have, to, you just need to find what you want. Make, make sure it's what you want as you know, you know, and go for it. Great. Now, what are the interest rates now? I think are about two or two and a half or something. Yeah. They're, yeah. And they, they may go down a little bit, not not a lot, but a little bit. But now, yeah, there's no reason why you shouldn't buy a house. Go for it. All right, great. Um, thank you for that. Thank you. Hey, Cheryl, yeah. where are you looking? Uh, I'm still in the L.A. area, you know, still looking northern L.A., you know, Glendale, Burbank, anything, anything, you know, uh, just always looking for a great home, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Dude. Wanda, am I going to live by the beach before I die? <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me see. I get that in about 10 years. Oh, I'll be dead. I swear to God. Oh, you won't. Well, now, Gay Ann, aren't we being positive? <laughs> it's so are you, are, and wit. <laughs> are, you, are you so unhappy that you no. don't want to live another 10 years? No, it's no. I mean, I'm just waiting. When Jenny gets funny, I guess I'll be more positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so look, the reason why that you're not doing that now is you have obligations to people that are close to you that are in the area where you live. Does that make sense? Well, I mean, the yeah. obligation is my mother and she's 88. Are you telling me she's going to live till 98? Just a question. Um, she's got, I, I don't, I'm not seeing whether she'll live till she's 98, but she's not going anywhere for quite a long time. Thanks, Dad. Uh, <laughs> hey, how's uh, your dad doing, Wanda? 
yeah, she's not she's not well all the time, but but yet she has a tremendous yeah. foundation for you know persevering and move and yeah. So, but in about maybe nine, ten years, some I get ten years, you're going to find your dream home on the beach, and at that time you'll be ready to buy it. Aww. Do you live far from the beach now? No, I mean I do. I mean, well, in COVID, no. Non-COVID, yeah. yes. I mean it's traffic, okay. but I, I go to the yeah. beach all the time. Yeah, yeah. But not well, this so, weekend, sadly. Huh? Yeah. Not this weekend. True. So Wanda, I have one personal more question because I can. Um, okay. My father passed in 2011 uh -huh. um, and it was sudden. Um, can, do you have any messages for my dad to me? What is your dad's name? Okay, don't laugh everybody. Vito Bruno, very Italian. Be Vito Bruno. <laughs> he said, I never ever had any idea what you would do next. <laughs> and he said, since I crossed over, I can see that that is the greatest aspect of your personality and that it would be great if everybody were blessed with that. He says, go for it, my darling, because there's no slowing you down. No and and just go for what you want because you can get it all. Ooh, wow. And he said, he says, you know how I love you, even though sometimes you frustrated the daylights out of me when I was here. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Absolutely. Just add an Italian accent, and it's just <laughs> right from his mouth. <laughs> he says it's so great to connect with you like this. And again, leave it up to you. There's nothing impossible. And he says, he says, okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> I give you permission to leave, Dad. <laughs> well, um, hey, hey, everybody, um, it's 822. I told you we'd go fast, Wanda. Are you tired? Everything good? No, I'm not. No, uh-uh. Energize. That's what between yeah, us. Yeah, it is. It's Energize. great. Yeah. Then, then you'll get funnier. I promise. I'm working on it. Look, I just want, in, in my defense, I found this the other day. It's one of those strips from when you're a kid. Uh -huh. I just want to show you. Okay, look, there's laugh. I've had resting bitch face since I was like <laughs> nine. So really, in my own defense, it's just my facial structure. And uh, secondly, I want to know, are we going to have an NFL season this year? Uh, second question, too. Um, it's doubtful, maybe, but it's not, it's still not decided fully. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I what I, what I want to do is address the thing that I said to you about having fun. It's like, it's not about anything other than there's a well of fun in you that you just have never opened up. And there's a, there's some seriousness in you that mm -hmm. expresses it's kind of like you put it over that. You're the kind of a person that if you start laughing, you could laugh all day and have everybody laughing with you. <laughs> and you just never let that out. That's what the, the reading was about. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask one quick thing, please? Yes. Just one quick thing. Uh huh. When, if ever, will, do you see me being with, in a mutual love of my life relationship? How old are you now? 45. You look about 25. Uh, oh, no, thank you. You do. <laughs> thank you um, so much. Okay, they're saying five to seven years. And when you meet this. <laughs> Don't look like that. That's my age. <laughs> and you, when you meet, no, when you meet this person, it will be like there are stars everywhere. Aww. It'll just be like one of those things that you'll just be so in love with each other that really? you can never even imagine when you weren't, okay? Oh, and, wow. and it will be, uh, it'll be something that will go on for the rest of your lives. Oh and my God, that's wonderful she, news. She for is about- The first time smiling this broadly, Mara. Yeah, <laughs> she, okay, she is about, she's about, five years older than you older 
wait a minute. But <laughs> you're riding on thin ice, Missy. <laughs> She like she will sixty. She will seem, she will seem younger, mm. and it's like there there will be no age between you. There's no there will be no such age. There'll just be this passion. dazzling is passion? love. Is there passion? Yes, yes, yes. a great deal. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I appreciate. Now, there that. will be there will be others that come and go in your life that you'll enjoy. But this this is the ultimate result of lessons learned, and you're ready to really give out and receive love. Okay, thank you. I get that. Yeah. Cara, any final question? Um, I guess same for me. Am I going to be a grandmother? <laughs> uh, let me see. Eventually, yes. Okay. How old, how old are your children? I've got one son, 43. Is he, do you have a wife? I don't see one, but. He does. Huh. Well, it's not like they're going to have a child, but they're going to raise a child somehow or the other. Oh. Whether it's, it comes to, maybe it's like some relative or distant relative of his or something will there'll be an unfortunate situation maybe a death or something and they will take this child wow. but that will be that will be like you'll be like its grandmother mm, how interesting what is your son's name i want to make sure i'm nick nick and what's your last name his last name is fru fru f-r-u f-r-e-w yeah yeah i yeah it'll, it'll there'll be a child I don't, it's, I don't think it's necessarily going to be their child, but you'll love that child. Wow. Maybe it's Tanya. Maybe your son will finally admit that he's Tanya's dad. <laughs> I don't know. Any last questions, ladies? I am. I, I, I swear I could go on for another hour. It's I know. So it be wonderful. <laughs> when is the vaccine coming? <laughs> When is yeah, that? really. <laughs> when, when is the vaccine coming? She said. <laughs> when is the what? Vaccine. Oh, oh the vaccine. COVID. When is this over? Um, it's probably going to be close to a year, maybe not quite. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to be, you know, Sounds good the way me. it is now for the most part, um, you know, for quite some time. Like yeah. six um, months, right? Yeah. Yeah, more at least more. are we learning our lessons are we going to come out of this you know like at better spiritually as a as a world okay it doesn't feel like that could be the case but yes yes it will and there's a lot of corruption that has never been known about it's been carried on behind the scenes for years all of that is going to be brought out and dealt with and things are going to be very different and very much better. Oh. Now, it doesn't, I know it doesn't seem like that. And sometimes I question it even when I talk to my guys, but they're saying, yes, that this is the, the beginning of the new world mm. and that we have the opportunity to ascend into that and bring light into that new world. There will be some people here who will not uh, embrace any of the changes and stuff, they'll kind of be over there in their own world and they'll do what they do, but they'll, when they cross over, they will be going to wherever the old world situation goes to. But those of us who can open up and embrace the light and move into the ascendant path, then it's gonna be, but the whole world overall is gonna be better. And there is going to be a coming together of the world's people. Well, thank you, Wanda. I really, seriously, I, I have so enjoyed this show. I mean, I enjoy most of our shows, but thank well, you I for hope coming so. on. Thank you for opening Please. up yourself to our callers. Um, you know, this is not, you know, you're not, this is not like a card trick, you know, so no, I appreciate you know. that you have taken the time and have really been open-minded in doing what you See, do with our callers the, and listeners. 
the thing about me is that I kind of have one foot on the other side and one foot over here. And so I communicate with the spirit world pretty much on an ongoing basis. So I, and I also connect with divine mind, but there's also the human part of me that's still working on itself. So, you know, that's the way I work and that's my, my work is my life now. Well, thank you for sharing that with us and our listeners. Um, where can, um, what's your number again, Wanda, if people want to call you and and um, either follow up or just call you in general? Right, it's 858-229-0622. Thank you so much. Oh, you're um, welcome. Everybody, thank you all the listeners and watchers um, for tuning in yet again. Um, I have to look at my calendar. We're on the first and third Friday of every month. The next show will be on July 17th. And we will have Nadine Artemis. Nadine Artemis is a vegetarian. She has a brand new product line of everything organic. Oh, uh, super. My funny part is she's, I was told it was all about the face and everything. And then in the packet, I got two bonuses, um, organic lube and something for your yoni. I haven't quite understood that yet, but... <laughs> Um, okay. But that should be good. And we're going to talk Where about is it. You should have brought it in. I, mean, I have it. I've got an extra one. I'll bring you. I, my Noni is not working right now. It's on. It's in retirement or on hiatus. Okay. Um, by the way, I choose to use organic food and have for a long time. So that's a good way to keep your body clean. Mm. And green, green tea cleans your body. Mm. So well, Wanda, would you come on the show again soon? Of course. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. Everybody again, between the sheets, the first and third Friday of every month. Thank you, Kurt, for manning the phones and everything. Um, follow me on Instagram, QTE Brat. Also, please follow the Between the Sheets Facebook page. Um, I don't Twitter. I just, I think it's stupid. Um, but it's Between the Sheets podcast. Um, all This show will be up um, tomorrow on, YouTube, on my the YouTube channel, Between the Sheets podcast, as well as all the audio platforms iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, la, 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 la. So right. thank you all. Cara, what's going on? What do you need people to know? I know I'll see you in two weeks. Oh, I know. Um, I just need to finish my Taj Mahal because my mosaic on the wall, six foot by four foot, has to be finished by August because uh, some friends want to be photographed in front of it. So um, I'm working on that. That's my full-time thing. And the reason I was just looking around was the parrots came over my house. <laughs> I have parrots here in Woodland Hills, 8.30 at night. Like, I could hear 100 parrots just went right over the house. What does that mean? <laughs> no, are they saying your name? Are they going, Cara, Cara? No. <laughs> that was Mara, a good one. Mara, what have you been up to, my beautiful girl? Well, thanks. I um, am going to, I'm trying to go looking at my art and my design and making it into a small business right now and consulting with people on how to uh, promote it out there so people know about me. What's your website? Yes, What's, okay. Where can find you, Mara um, Jane? Well, while I'm making a website right now, I do a Facebook uh, page. It's called Custom Designs by Mara Shane. Thank you, beautiful. And Jenny McNulty. What well, I, know I just I just enrolled in a stand-up comedy class while we were waiting. And um, <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Wanda. Thank you very much. In all seriousness, thank you very much. I, I do appreciate what you said. Um, I am still doing my show one, uh, Monday through Friday, 1 o'clock, the in-house comedy chat. Um, just an interview show, having lots of fun. It's on my Facebook page. Right. And are you still doing... Uh, yeah, pandemic yeah. Password, too. Yeah, Pandemic Password on Monday nights, a game show. Uh, that's a four also on Jenny McNulty Fan at Facebook. So please like Jenny's page. And Cheryl, I know you've been gone for a while, but I've I seen know. you very busy on Bless Facebook. You. So what's right. coming up for you that people can sign up for or whatever? Yeah. Guys, uh, you got to join me on July 11th. It's a Saturday. I'm doing an online demonstration with some other mediums. So check out my events page at mediumcheryl.com. It'll tell you all my events coming up for the summer. And everybody, I just wanted to say again, thank you. You know my mantra, love, peace, kindness, happiness, compassion, gratitude, empathy. I'm on almost every single night. I used to be every single night, but now I'm taking a break. 
but um, almost every single night on my Facebook chats, um, I can't believe the amount of people that tune in and I appreciate it to listen to me. I mean, each, each 20, 30 minute session, um, by the end of the week, it's about eight to 900 people. So thank you so much for um, following me and my journey of my roller coaster. And my father knows me, so it's always going to be a very interesting ride. Um, but I love you guys. Um, be safe, be well. I want to thank you again, Wanda. I am so honored that you joined us. And as always, my friends, um, we will see you in two weeks. And you know how I love to sign off. Namaste. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you. And right now, I I'm love you home. all. I send you love. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks.